Hello everyone, AP Physics 1 exam is over and the questions are just released. So I'll be working on the solutions and uh, posting them one at a time. So the first question is asking about you to draw the force diagrams and force uh, and label them for a satellite moving around planet Earth. So remember, first of all, there is no centrifugal or centrifugal force. Uh, it's just the effect of inertia and the centripetal force is actually the total force pointing towards the center. So for this case, there's only one force applied on the spacecraft, which is gravitational force, Fg. So the, you only put one force, Fg, towards the center and uh, for the calculation basis, your centripetal force will be actually Fg. The second part of the question 1b it's asking you to uh, derive an equation for the period by using mass of the satellite mass of the earth and radius of the uh, satellite so uh, first of all let's remember centripetal acceleration v tangential squared over radius or for the college board uh, equations it's just v squared over radius and uh, the total force is going to be centripetal force, which is going to be gravitational force, G, mass of the uh, satellite, mass of the Earth, divided by radius squared. So this will be equal to MA. And um, as you can see, actually, for this case, the acceleration will be centripetal acceleration. So... Uh, we, if we get rid of m's, that will cancel each other out and uh, plug in centripetal acceleration, which is going to be v squared over radius or distance, and you get v squared g m e over radius. Now one thing to remember, if there is an object revolving around one point doing a circular motion with the radius r, whenever it takes one tour around or one cycle, it uh, takes the distance of the circumference, 2 pi r. And the time it takes for one revolution is called period, capital T. And if you would like to find the speed in this path either you call vt or v 2 pi r divided by t and if you plug this in to the final equation we just got let's take the square 4 pi squared r squared divided by period squared is equal to g mass of the earth or planet divided by r and if you take t on one side 4 pi squared r cube divided by g and mass of the earth so either uh, you leave it like this or you can rewrite this one 2 pi two pi r cube you can also take out r squared but that's okay g m e for question 1 b and second part of the question is asking what happens if you replace the satellite or a second spacecraft with 2m but but with the same radius as you see in the equation of the period, there is no uh, variable for the mass of the spacecraft. They cancel each other out in the equation, so uh, they will be equal to each other. The mass of the object does not affect the period. Only the distance and the planet's mass affects the uh, period of the revolving object. Alright, in the previous question, it was asking you to uh, evaluate what happens if you change the mass of the 
uh, spacecraft but this one is asking what happens if you change the R and it's asking you to uh, evaluate the speed of the spacecraft so speed of the spacecraft if uh, as you remember one revolution it takes the circumference 2 pi R divided by the time takes one cycle which we call period and if you recall the period equation from the previous question 2 pi R cube divided by g m mass of the earth so uh, i do i always like placing numbers instead of just going for the uh, you know case whenever the r for r it takes period t and then we get v tangential speed speed so that happens if we get this to 2r so let's calculate the new period first t2 which is going to be 2 pi if we place 2r instead of r we get 8r cubed divided by gme so technically the t2 which is going to be the new period will be square root 8 times more than first period now let's see is it going to speed it up when we place 2r for the tangential speed so let's integrate these two together vt2 second case 2 pi 2r divided by square root 8 t now um, let's go ahead and calculate square root 2 and i would just say it but it's better to see 2.82 so that means 2 divided by 2.82 so the new tangential speed will be uh, smaller than the first tangential speed and kepler's laws also state this whenever the planet moves further it will slow down in the uh, orbital pathway in other words it will have a smaller tangential speed 